All right, what's up guys? This is a 2018 Q60 Red Sport. Just got my intake in the mail. Can do a quick unboxing. Legit just that ordered these guys fucking yesterday. A um, license plate cover, instructions if you need them. So this is the uh, this is like mass, the math mounting brackets, filters, two oval cones, and brackets, and your rubber ring that goes on the heat shield brackets, whatever, to install the intakes. First rinse, pop out all these clips, the clips out, and remove the little, whatever you want to call this, air duct shield or something. And it's gonna show all that. I'm gonna remove these two tens to make the air boxes come out in the front. Make sure you don't lose these little metal and rubber bushings because you're going to reuse these apps. Two tens in here. Easiest thing to do is just try to lift this up without taking it off and sliding a ten in there. So on both sides. Use your fingers. That's what I'm doing right now. This is a rubber grommet down here. You're just going to pull up on the air box until it pops out. After that, make sure you unclip these on both sides. Actually, I think there's one on the bottom. Nope. Is it? Oh no, it's just like some push pins. You just pull it down and lift up. Time to show you. Grab this piece, hold this, and then push this frontal piece down. And there's two little little connectors down there, and they should uh, come out once you push them down. The back of the air box that connects to the math. You're gonna use a flat head to pull back this little. I guess you would call it retaining clip over here. Lift it and it should just come out. Grab a flathead, lift it up, and should be able to pull it out. Retaining Use clips, it. make sure they're fully disengaged. Make sure they're not still clipped into this right here, or else you're never getting it out. It took me a good 10 minutes to figure it out. But now this is out. Gonna take these two screws out, unplug the mouth, and then we're gonna swap it over to the new AM intake. It's optional, but I'm just adding some. Heat reflecting bolt tape to the back side of the heat shield. Just sort of a finished product. I was running out of gold tape, so I kind of just did the main parts, but still covers the back. Since I did uh, driver's side first, you're going to use mounting bracket 7363. And then for passenger side, you're using the bracket that ends in a 2. Pretty self explanatory. Just put the bracket over the map housing, put it in here. Put the nuts down. After that, we're gonna take the intake filter and just bolt it on with the clamp provided. Filter, I don't think it really matters which one. We're gonna open up the packaging. Set. Now we're gonna put it back in the retaining clip, bolt it all down, and this side should be done. The kit comes with these little plastic grommets that go in the original holes, so I'm guessing that goes in there, and then the mass airflow bracket connects to that. Backtrack a little bit. First put the little plastic grommet in here, use the 10 mil to bolt it down, then we install it in there. After you plug in the, uh, install the MAF housing into the retainer clip, you're going to feel for the push. Once it clips in, we're going to put one more bolt up here, and it should be done. This is really trying to get the clamp, retaining clamp on under the shield. So what I ended up do, doing was taking off the turbo inlet from the turbo itself back here. Put on the clamp first with the mouth, and then once I got everything set up, I'm just putting it back to the turbo, and it's a lot easier that way. It's a little more work, but it's way easier. It's really kind of annoying to get everything in there, but once you get everything squared away, turbo and the tighten back on. Here's the rubber grommet backwards right here. And you just bolt it down with the original bolt. Side. Put the math on first and then put the bracket on because it's way easier. It crackles now. 
Do it again. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-